Hello ladies and gentlemen, greetings mech warriors. Welcome back, this is GTB speaking. We're back in Mech Warrior Online and today we're running the Nightstar NSR-10P. That is the Nightstar that actually has Guardian ECM and is a little bit weird to build, but this build that I come up with actually works quite well. It runs four AC5s, two in each arm, as well as one large pulse laser in the side torso and the medium laser in the head. And that is basically all the weaponry you can actually mount on there and that will allow us to do some decent damage over time and also enjoy the fun and the perks of having ECM and that is always the best perk. Okay, enemies are coming in, they are shooting at our teammates that are moving in right now. I'm just trying to hang back a tiny little bit because there's not that many of our teammates up front here yet. There is an Atlas going in however and that should be our signal to go in and bring down some more deck. I'm overheating here right now so we need to be a little bit careful with our heat management. This mech can run quite hot over time in prolonged engagements and I can't really shoot at that guy over there that was just shelling me with what I think are UAC-2s. So we need to wait until he exposes a little bit more and then we can go ahead and shoot him again. 660 meters, that is good range for AC-5s, so let's go ahead and keep laying into him. We need to be careful though, this is a night star, so we have a very very broad mech, so it is really really hard as you can see right now to not shoot into teammates' backs because they just keep standing in front of me for some reason. <laughs> Okay, so fire discipline, as you can see, is really, really important here. Wow, this is dark. Okay, over there we have an India and Atlas side torso is very damaged. Let's go ahead and lay into him some more to try and get that juicy, juicy AC-20. Can we get it? One more hit should do it. Come on, one more hit. This needs to be gone. Well, there we go. Side torso pops. Unfortunately, the wrong side torso, but it's okay. We just pop the CT and then we take him out. Another Atlas coming our way. Wow, this is a lot of tonnage in this mech. Let's go ahead and lay into him with our arm mounted AC5s. There's no need to use the large pulse laser and medium laser right now because I need the heat for the constant damage from the autocannons. Okay, let's move over here, get into his back, and then do concentrated fire on his side torsos. Come on, will you please die already? One more. Ah, okay, he decides to run behind the pillar and then die, not to me, but to somebody else. Okay, fine. Mad Cat of ATM, he should not be that dangerous to us. Over there, Bravo in the water as well as Echo. That's a Marauder. Let's just go ahead and follow up with him. He has got a very, very open leg and that is a Raven. That just runs through the... What the heck? Where are you coming from? That's a Huntsman. And he is SRMing our teammates, so let's go ahead and help him out before they get killed by him. Actually, it's just SRM2, he's running a very interesting build with medium pulses. But let's just say we just take him out from the CT with the help of our lasers. And now I think I'm gonna go after that Marauder right here because he has rotor AC5s, he is very dangerous. Until we take down the right leg. This one. Alright, that leg's gone. And now we take out the other leg. And that should basically be all she wrote. Come on, there we go. That should be some juicy salvage bonus. Okay, what do we have? A Shadow Cat, that's almost dead. Don't care about him. An Archer over there though, however. Let's go ahead and lay into him. He should be pretty damaged right now. That is a Warhammer that's shooting at me with some... What the heck is that? Can't even say. It's either UX or Rotaries. So let's just go ahead and move back a little bit. We also are empty, so no more shells for us. Right now the only thing we have is a medium pulse laser and our large pulse laser. So ambush an issue with this build, so be a little bit careful with that. CT open on the Warhammer, that is a call for me to just go ahead and take him out through the CT. Nice. Okay, one more enemy on the map. Where is he? Where is he hiding? Also, I only have a medium laser left now. Oh, there we go. The ECM Raven. Yay. Hello, Mr. Raven. You know, I actually should be way more scared of that man right now because he's actually got a rocket launcher 15. So just trying to shield with my side, give him a little bit of poke with the medium laser. And every time he looks at me, I just have to go ahead and shield. Yeah, he looks at me. That's shield. Okay, shoot. Okay, well, he's dead. Uh, long story short, if you have a rocket launcher 15, make sure to use it and not just die without not using it. That's kind of pointless of carrying all this extra tonnage. Okay, well, good first game, hanging back a little bit and doing some damage for killing those forces. One kill most damage dealt, seven components taken out, 950 damage done. Literally just shooting at the enemy and making sure that I don't die and still sharing my armor. So, all in all, I would say nice win. Okay. 
let's jump on over on Polar Highlands and this time we have ECM and range so that is perfect. I just um, saved you guys three minutes of walking across frozen plains, I hope you appreciate that. <laughs> so team is bunched up right now in Gulf 8 and we are looking towards the enemy that is somewhere in Hotel 8, Hotel 7 and India 8 and I told the team let's try and swing around see if we can actually counter them. Okay. Team is moving in on the left flank right now. I still want to go to the what's the right flank because I have a feeling my spider sense is tingling. So let's move in over here. We see a target over the horizon over here. Let's start echo. There's some lerms flying. Let's get in closer to our teammates. Try and support them a bit. Okay, that is a summoner. Meet him a little bit, but that's fine. Stormcrow coming up. Nope. Okay, there is a Lurm Storm coming in, and again, my Spider Sense has not failed me. Atlas pushing forward, target Gulf, calling it out as focus target. Let's go ahead, lay into his CT. Come on, turn around, there we go, come on. Yes, take it off, search for CT. Next target coming up is a Supernova. He's running medium pulses and ER large lasers, but with the focus fire that we have around the corner right here, as you can see from our mech side, we can have four or five mechs shooting, and his buddies on back one or two are shooting. That is not amplifying damage, ladies and gentlemen. That is just slowly getting ground to dust by all those enemy mechs they're facing right now. So let's go ahead and lay into that assault over there. That's a Warhawk with Lurms. Oh, yeah. Uh, apparently, he doesn't want to learn me or anything, so that's fine by me. I'll just keep shooting my AC5s into him and take him apart piece by piece by piece. There we go. Someone are jumping up. Supernova, side choice a week. Let's go ahead and always go for the weak spots. That is very important. I don't want to move too far right now because I've taken some damage. So let's go ahead and give our teammates a chance to tank a little bit. Someone up front. Yeah, okay. We keep moving. We keep moving. The side torso is weak. The side torso is gone. We need to be careful with our very, very wide arms. There is a supernova again. We can punish him some more. Pulling the laser as well. And he is dead. Perfect. Nice. I just saw something. I just saw another weak side torso. Not on this mech, but on the other. Enemy Stormcrow, so let's move in. Where are you hiding? There's a Stormcrow with a weak arm, and he's dead. Okay, never mind, that was fast. Oh, Roughneck really up too. front, he is CT open, so it's also open, not that much of a danger. Now, as you could see, this round actually uh, I chose that because it showcases the concept of amplifying damage very nicely, or also the concept of firing lines, whereas we were able to engage with four, five, six mechs at the same time. Whereas they, because they were not moving up, because they were very staggered, they actually could only have like one, two or three mechs shooting at the same time. And that just means that they lose the fight. That's that, that simple. You need to get your mechs into the fight as fast as possible at the same time. That is what's crucial. Alright, I can't really reach these guys over there. Maybe I can catch that light mech over there if he decides to move towards me somewhat. We'll see. Come on, over the cross, and let's see. Hello? Oh, hello there, Commando! Hello, Mr. Commando. Can we kill him? Good thing is, we've got arms. Arms would be very helpful in dealing with this little pest down here. Yes, there was another hit. And he's running. He's away. Bye bye, Commando. Thank you for choosing to fly air TTB. Alright. Yay! Let's go ahead and have a look. At the scoreboard. I mean, this was a pretty, pretty hard stomp. Let's see how it turned out. Two killing blows, six assists, two solo kills, three kill most damage dealt, four coupons taken out, 714 damage done. I would say that was an okay match as well. And guys, if you want to support me on Patreon, just head on over, use the link, and I would be grateful for any kind of support you want to show me. But again, as always, it is absolutely up to you. Looking at the build, we're running a light engine 300, we're running 4 AC5s, we're running a large pulse laser and a medium laser, and Guardian ACM of course with endo steel and double heat sinks. Just make sure to get all these juicy juicy ammo nodes in your skill tree so that we can go ahead and shoot at our heart's content. Thank you guys so much for watching, this has been TTB in the Nightstar 10p. Good fight, good night, see you soon. TTB out.